Israel is hitting Hamas targets in Gaza this morning following hundreds of airstrikes over the weekend. Meantime, the United Nations Security Council meets today to ask for a humanitarian pause in the fighting. KTLA's Eric Spillman here with the very latest. Eric, good morning. Morning, Frank. Morning, Jessica. Israel is not calling it a full-scale invasion, but its troops are definitely pushing further into Gaza as the war against Hamas intensifies. Israel is moving more tanks, infantry and artillery units into Gaza with the goal of wiping out the Hamas leaders responsible for the October 7th massacre of 1,400 Israelis. Israel says it has killed dozens of Hamas gunmen in Gaza who have attacked from inside buildings and tunnels there. This is just the beginning of Israel's ground offensive. The operation is likely to take a long time, maybe as long as several months. Despite the assault, Hamas still has the capacity to shoot rockets at Israel. One of them struck the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon over the weekend. In Gaza, the Palestinian Red Crescent Society says one Israeli airstrike damaged a hospital there. Israel says Hamas uses tunnels underneath at least one hospital in Gaza City as a command and control center. Israel continues to tell civilians to evacuate to the southern part of the territory for their own safety. But the death toll in Gaza is rising. The Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry says 8,000 people have been killed there since the war began. There is no way to independently verify that figure. A top advisor to President Biden says Israel has the right to defend itself. In Hamas, this brutal terrorist organization that conducted the attack, is hiding behind the civilian population, which puts an added burden on Israel uh, to differentiate between the terrorists and innocent civilians. But it doesn't lessen their responsibility under international humanitarian law and the laws of war uh, to do all in their power to protect the civilian population. Thousands of people in Gaza are taking shelter at hospitals there. Internet and phone service is gradually coming back in Gaza. The Washington Post reports that Israel cut off Gaza's communication services over the weekend and then began to restore them at the urging of the Biden administration. But shortages of food, water and medical supplies are severe. On Sunday, the largest convoy so far of humanitarian aid arrived in Gaza. Some 33 trucks crossed the border from Egypt. Israel's foreign ministry is confirming that one of the hostages taken from Israel to Gaza has been found dead. 23-year-old Shani Luke was kidnapped by Hamas terrorists during their attack earlier this month. She was attending a music festival in southern Israel and was trying to run away. Israel says she was tortured and paraded around by Hamas through the streets of Gaza. Her family has been notified that her body has been found and identified. Israel says Hamas is still holding more than 230 hostages. Fox News is reporting that an Israeli official visited Qatar late last week to try and negotiate for their release. Frank. Eric, thank you for that. Stay with KTLA 5 for continuing coverage of Israel's war with Hamas. We'll bring you the latest developments as they happen. For updates at any time, head to our website, ktla.com, or download the free KTLA 5 News app.